At Southland Organics, we help growers find effective natural solutions for natural problems at a molecular level. Our goal is to help your farm be as strong and secure as possible. In this poultry biosecurity video series, we are going to talk about something that may not be popular among most people. You guys, true poultry growers, might just be the only people to appreciate what we're about to talk about. We're going to give you the scoop on poop. In the poultry industry, we put a major focus on nutrition. What goes into the bird directly affects everything from performance to mortality to the bottom line of your business and we monitor and adjust it regularly. But there is a lot to learn from what comes out of your bird at the end of the nutrition cycle. That's right, poop. To fully understand the end of the cycle, let's take a quick look at the digestive process in your birds from start to finish. Birds eat continuously throughout daylight hours and sometimes into the night. Unless you have a programmed uh, growing cycle or routine with your lighting, they don't really have a specific meal time and break like we do. That's why they continually eat and thus seem to continually poop. When poultry eat and drink, the food and water go from the beak into the esophagus, which carries it down to the crop or the craw. Food begins to soften in the crop before it travels to the proventriculus, an organ that uses enzymes to break down food before it actually enters the gizzard. The gizzard is a more muscular organ that using small stones to grind food into a paste that can be more readily processed in the intestine. A chicken's intestine has two small pouch-like places called the cecum. Bacteria in these pouches help digest particularly woody, fibrous, or tough bits of food that the chicken ingests. The food takes its time in this section of the bird so that the bird can extract as much of the nutrients as possible. At this point, the bird should have absorbed all the good it will from the feed. It's time to get rid of what they don't need now. Back to show you on the chicken, the waste travels to the cloaca, which is Latin for common sewer. This is fitting because in birds, all forms of waste are expelled at once in one dropping. This is what you see all over the floor of your house, and it can be the key to knowing the true health of your bird and the efficiency of your nutrition. There are three parts to the poop you should look for. The first is feces. This is the main part of the stool. It is the only real solid part. If healthy, the feces should be dark brown to tan and tubular in shape. It may be straight, coiled, or even broken up into smaller yet still tubular pieces. This is a good indication of a tight gut. Next, you have urates or uric acid. This is the white cap you see on the stool. This is a byproduct of protein metabolization, birds converting feed into energy. In healthy birds, the urates should cover about a third to a half of the stool and have chalky white appearance. Then the last part is urine. This is the liquid of non-crystalline form of urates and it typically looks like water in healthy birds. There should be a very small amount of it and almost unnoticeable. Now that you know how birds break down feed, we want you to keep an eye out for some warning signs. These can indicate inefficient feed conversion, disease, or infection. Here are a few major warning signs for the three elements of poop. For feces, the stool should be free from blood or excess undigested feed. If you see either of these, it could be a sign of a bigger problem. With urates, because the urates or white caps are a byproduct of the bird converting food to energy, 
The amount of white caps seen is used as an indicator of how the birds are converting feed. As we all know, feed conversion directly affects your profitability in a flock. If you're seeing less than a third of the stool covered in white caps, chances are your birds may not be efficiently metabolizing protein. Lastly, for the non-crystalline urine, if your birds have loose, wet droppings, this can be a sign that your birds don't have everything they need to actually absorb nutrients from the feed. If there's a lot of excess urine, it could also be a sign of a bacterial infection. Monitoring is the first step. Pay attention to the amount, size, color, and consistency of your bird's droppings. Write these things down and note what is normal for your birds, as well as any changes you see. Change in poop can be an early indication of illness or stresses. As you take notes of what you are regularly seeing, if an issue lasts more than a couple of days, it may be time to take action. Next week, we'll take a look at some side-by-side -side examples of bird's poop from real commercial poultry farmers and talk about some easy ways to get a better result at the end of your nutrition cycle, tighter guts. If you need help with tightening guts or simply would like to learn more, the Southland Organics team is here. Connect with me, Alan Reynolds, at 1-800-608-3755 or Alan at southlandorganics.com and don't forget to subscribe because we are constantly adding great educational content to help you keep your farm healthy. Mm -hmm.